Hello, hello everyone. We are here ready to roll for our morning session. So who is going to be joining me today? Today it's lifting, lifting with some element of plyometrics, which is going to be to, for your lower body. So join me, join me. Let's have fun together. And and yeah, make comments below where are you coming from and if this is your first time or you're logging in again because we go here pretty much every day. You can see us here on different, different, different platforms. So again, what I'm starting with, of course, uh, I'm sipping my pre-workout and diluting it with the water as we go along. So that's right here. If you don't know how to make yourself a pre-workout, good pre-workout, let me know, send me a comment below and I will lead you through. So what I have in my hand is this stretch drop. So let's start the warming up today on the floor in a little bit different way, guys, okay? A little bit different way. So right here on the floor, we're gonna be doing the active stretching uh, right here. Up and down, holding that leg for a second as I bring the leg up toes are down so you want to stretch the back side of your leg right all the hamstrings and the calves and when you hold for a second you're gonna feel it you're gonna feel this in your leg so up and down right here holding it for a few seconds a few seconds and now I'm gonna extend the other leg and what I'm gonna do right here is bring that leg out to the side so I can stretch my inner thighs and bring that leg back up and again deep breath in and exhale so i'm trying to create a 90 degree angle right here okay and i'm holding it with my right hand right leg is out good you can do a little bit more a little bit less it's up to you depends how much time you have now my right hand right arm is on the floor so what i'm what i'm doing right now i'm already by placing that arm down i'm stretching all the front side of my shoulder and it feels that good because these shoulders are tired. We've done so much slamming and so much push-ups yesterday. If you've done it with us, I'm sure you saw. Okay, let's bring that leg over and we're gonna stretch our quad. So you see my bottom leg is bent and I'm bringing that heel into the glute. I will kick it forward and bring it over again. So I'm pulling on the bend because that's what regulates that leg. I'm pushing my hips forward and I'm stretching right here. It feels good. And again, let's do this. Good, now we can flip it over one more time and we can do the stretch with your glutes. This is the same stretch as you can do sitting in a halfway lying down position, relaxing your neck, bringing that leg in. Good, time, let's do the other leg. Right, we're gonna do both, not just one. Let's do this, guys. Toes are down, flex your foot. Don't point it. Just by holding it right here, you're gonna feel a release. You're pulling on your toes. You guys were asking me where we can find this stretch strap. On um, Amazon, we got those on. It's perfect. This one is stretchy, so it feels even better than the stiff ones. Let's do this, other leg is straight. If you can do this, tuck that heel, come right back up and pull on those toes a little bit down. Yes, if this still feels uncomfortable, keep the other knee bent. But make sure that you have a moment that you concentrating on pulling down your toes. You gotta flex it and that's when you're gonna hit that tight strike, right? So let's do this, good. Now, we're gonna bring that leg out to the side. We've done this so many times, guys, and you should be practicing this one, okay? Inner thighs. I'm gonna extend the opposite leg, and I'm gonna let it sink for a second, and then bring it back up, and slowly, with control, bring that leg out to the side, okay? You don't wanna like drop it. You wanna have a full control, engaging your abs, and exhale. I want to brace my abs too to control my body a little bit more. 
and one more time and then we're gonna switch so look the switch happens right here I'm switching my hand left arm on the floor left leg is up left arm on the floor and let's go it across oh just this feels such a good stretch running from my shoulder arm everything here and again that leg goes across some of you have to bend that knee and this is fine your goal is to keep the head on the floor you can see if the range of motion is there some of you won't be able to do that listen and this is okay and time let's bring that over i'm totally cleaning the floor here with the kids who are cleaning the floor yesterday after the workout here i'm gonna just totally swipe it here all right let's do this kick it bring it over so now we are at the quad right look if your quad is super tight and you want to start all this warm-up with your quad stretch you can However, getting those hamstrings, usually hamstrings will be tired more unless you did some crazy stuff, some crazy workout. But hamstrings will be more tired with sitting. A lot of you have sedentary lifestyle and the hamstrings get really tight. All right, so we're gonna get the glutes just like this. You can release that leg for a second. Gently, it's all about this section, not just pulling your, on your toes, it's on putting on your foot. No, don't pull on your foot. Just bring the whole leg into you so you can feel it in your glute, right? Okay. And time. Let's get up. Bend on the side. You see, I have, I don't know if you can see it, I have a, I have a bench here, but if you do not have a bench, you can do this on the floor. Yes, hello guys, hello, I see you guys. Hello Pam, I see you Fabi. Nice, good, good morning. Well, good morning, some of you good afternoon and other times, right? So, bench, bend, dumbbells, and let's roll, okay? First goes three exercises, dumbbells, and then we're gonna go into the bend, following with the same kind of motion. First round, warm up round. You should never lift, maximum weight. You should get those shoulders and the whole your body warmed up. So get your dumbbells. We're gonna start with the chest press. On the bench, you don't have a bench, so maybe stability ball. You don't have a stability ball. Maybe you wanna do it on the floor. It's up to you, all right? So we're gonna get those shoulders a little warmed up more. It should be challenging, but nothing super heavy. Just a few, follow me, let's do this. Three, two, one, we lay down on the bench, which went down in an unusual way. Okay, now. should go in sync together that's very important so inhale is down exhale is up bracing your abdominals yes time look this is just the first one so we just gotta get ready get rolling okay now look we're gonna do a plyometric here but we're not gonna go through a full jump squat what we're gonna do is a little you can start with squats or you can do a little hop a little hop it's up to you or you can do one squat and one hop because we want to still warm up the body okay we still want to push it forward but warm up 
So I'm gonna do one squat, one jump squat. Because I wanna still get that body warmed up a little bit more. Yes, we did stretching, but it's a little bit different motion. So a little squat and a little jump squat. So with the plyometric, what you wanna do, you don't wanna jump and land on the straight legs. From squat to squat, okay? From squat to squat, and trust me, we're gonna get warmed up very quickly here. Yes, nice and low. You can go lower as we go. So you see, one and one, and then we're gonna pump those a little faster and stronger, and time. Get your dumbbells, we're gonna go right into bend over roll. So we started with the push, now we're going into a pull motion. So bend over, 45 right here, and you're gonna pump those dumbbells. Roll them, abs and glutes engaged. You should not be in a weird angle and looking at the screen. Just listen to my cues, squeeze your bicep, squeeze your tricep, Knees should be slightly bent. Don't look sideways like this on the screen. You're gonna hurt your neck. If for any reason you need to stand up for a second because you feel tension in your lower back, do it and then go again. Squeeze it. And time. Get to those bends. Bends should be at the toe. We're gonna get a bend. And we're gonna do a chest press, guys. Chest press. Yeah, those shoulders are tight from yesterday. Roll to punch. So in this case, my one leg is forward and I'm gonna pump the bends right here. So now, working with bends, what's really important is the bend is pulling you. A lot of you will go and let it go. No, listen, you have a full control over the bend. Now, if the bend, if you cannot control the bend, that means that the bend is a little bit too heavy. You gotta change the resistance there. Stick your chest out. Squeeze, squeeze, tight, tight shoulders. Chest is out. Both knees should be slightly bent. Even the back leg straight out from the chest. So I'm pumping, but I'm having a full control over that band, okay? Time. Quick little stretch for your legs. Now we're gonna go into plyometrics jump. So look, we can touch the floor. You can touch with both hands, or you can just go with me like this. You see how I'm jumping? High in the air, exploding up. Some of you can't do that. Get a dumbbell, keep on squatting. Go into your heavy squats. Ha. Pump, pump, pump. Burn it. Time. Woo. Felt awesome, right? Standing. Bro. Let's do this. Maybe you want now a little heavier bend. Go for it. Shoulders back. Chest is out. And we're gonna dig in. Row in. Row, row, row. So now 90 here, 90 degrees. Not raising your shoulders, not crunching anything. Arms in front. See, I have to catch your breath, inhale, exhale. With the motion, guys, you gotta sink it in together. Should be the opposite way. Should be going with the motion. What I'm concentrating on right now. I'm not going this, look. I'm not letting go. I'm squeezing the arms, shoulders, back, bicep, tricep. My back, my knees are slightly bent. My knees should not be stick figures like this, locked in. 
I'm concentrating on my abs and I'm rowing it all the way. Yes. And time. Feels good, right? Yes. We're going forward. We're not going to repeat that. We're going to go right into the incline. So I'm taking incline bench right here. Spiders love to come underneath the bench. I always have to clean them. <laughs> They're always living somewhere there. But I don't want them right now. All right. Chest press. Let's do this. Now on the incline, you might find yourself that it's a little bit different weight. And listen, it's okay. If you need to lower it down, fine. Let's do this guys. Incline, press above your chest, not above your head. Let's do this. Controlling. Now, if you would not have a bench incline, you can also do this with stability ball when you're gonna be kind of on the side of the ball. You can do this too. Bench is a great investment, great to have. Pump them. Going a little bit longer. Ah, already felt it, right? Yes. Now, Lyo, tricks, meaning jumping, jumping lunge, jump lunge. That's what it is. So how this gonna go? We're gonna jump and switch in the air. Doesn't matter which leg you're starting, because they're gonna even out. You're gonna jump and switch, jump and switch. I'm gonna show you sideways, guys. So 90 degree angle, both legs, both. You're going down and exploding up. So they hit the ground at the same time, 90 degrees. You gotta explode up. Now, some of you will do this and you're gonna call this jump lunge. No, 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 jump lunge like this. It has to be switched in the air. If you wanted to modify, then that's fine. If you wanna skip, you wanna skip, but that's not a jump lunge, okay? So don't call it jump lunge because it's not. So, if you wanna go faster, you can, or you can go with me here, pause for a second, jump and explode, breathe. You gotta breathe. Now, some of you just need to step back one leg at a time into a reverse lunge, that's fine. You do what you can, keep on going. So if you need to do this as a modification, please, or hold on to the, TRX in front of you and use your legs. That's totally fine. But we gotta pump it up. And time. We're gonna go right into right into high plank rows. High plank rows. Let's do this, guys. Low bend. Low, low, low. Low. High plank position right now. So make sure you have enough space. You gotta move stuff around. You ready? We're gonna go right and then we're gonna go left. So feet are wider, shoulder width. Tension in the bend right here cannot be loose and touching the floor. You gotta step back, extend your arm, and just roll it in. Elbow to the rib, rib cage and the below. Right arm only. Yes. Quads will be shaking, as will be shaking. Fine. Going right into your bent fly standing. So now you have a group with bends, right? So right into. Bend twice. 
let's do this standing you can switch your legs you can start with the same leg as you have forward with the chest press and full control motion right here squeezing it so we're going straight through three groups and we're gonna start all over again okay pump it pump it so my arms are slightly bent feel like the butterfly wings right here keep your knees bent slowly retract it back with full motion right you know motion and control you don't want to go behind this level because you're gonna overstretch your shoulders and time now I think you know what's coming your jumps coming that's what it is ready let's do this you want to touch the floor touch the floor
cool idea how it goes. Regular bicep curls, shoulders back, chest out, and we are lifting. Dumbbells coming towards the shoulders. Concentrate, squeeze, focus. Knees bent. Don't round your upper back. That's normal. That's normal, maybe not normal. For some of you, you will be going forward with those dumbbells. Don't rock, don't swing. It's all about isolation right here with this dumbbell. Don't twist or rotate your wrist. Wrist should be in line with your forearm. Stay tight, strong. And time. All right. Overhead presses, my friends. Whew, you ready? Bend. Stay in the center of your bend. Bend, bend, bend. Bring it up. We're gonna go wider. Ready? Like that. Not like we did yesterday with fast motion in our cardio session. We're gonna go wider right here okay squeeze fully extend press those arms control it down you see i'm not letting go right i am controlling it yes Almost there, almost there. Time. Ha! You felt that, right? I hope you did. My arms are on fire. Right leg was forward. Oh, left leg. Who remembers? My left was forward. I'm going with my right. Split in three, two, one. This shirt has to come off. Ha! Slow it up. Ha! Time. Nice work. We gotta get those bicep curls now. Get that bend. Stay right in the center. Or if you guys have just a long bend, standing bicep curl. Got it? What I do, I do two loops right here, and then I go like this. Who are you talking to? To the screen. Can you talk back? No. That's the thing. I'm waiting. Your voice in your head talking back? Uh, pump that bicep. Shoulders back, chest out. So this is the end of these th three groups. Now we gotta start from the beginning. From the top, six exercises in each group. We're still lifting. At least we're trying. Now start removing your clothing. Let's do this. Mine has to come off now. Sip your water. Sip your water, your pre-workout, whatever you have there. And let's do this. Dumbbells will be first. How are you guys doing? How is everybody doing? Hello, you guys are waving. Let's do this. Who is ready for the next round? So many of you actually joining now. You guys are playing this message. Let's stick together. Let's do this. Together, get your dumbbells. And let's roll straight 
feel whew. ready. I pumped my weight a little bit. Let's push it that we cannot go anymore. Three, two, one, go. Whatever you are on the bench, on the stability ball, chest is out. Controlling those dumbbells. Remember about the in sync breathing with the motion. That's very important. Do not just drop those dumbbells down, control them. Down and then press up. And again, we're going, we're going. We are not stopping. No, no, no. Getting there. Ugh. Ugh. One more. Ugh. Nice. Ooh, that was good. All right, jump. You ready? Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. You can touch both hands towards the ground, or you can keep them just here. Explode. Fly, fly, fly in the air. Drop those glutes down. Getting there. Ah, and time. That's how you should feel. You see, you don't feel that heart rate till actually you're releasing it. Right? You feel it now. Yes. Pump those legs. Let's do this. You gotta go.
Next one. Ha. Standing row. Grab your bend. Keep going. Step back. I grab the heavier bend now. We want the challenge. Hope you remember your points. What you need to concentrate on. Nice. First group behind us, right? Good job, good job, guys. Who's staying with me? All right, quick sip of water. We're going into the incline now. Shake it, drink it. Write it down. What's in your pre-workout? Write it down, share it. I'd love to know what are you guys doing right before your session because timing is everything timing not only what you have but timing so important in this field what we do all right get your dumbbells we're doing incline chest press Three, two, one, <clears throat> get ready mentally for this next round. Go in, you do not stop till I stop. You want the head? Fine, but you gotta wait till we're gonna finish right now. Look at the ceiling, look above you. Check your position, see if those arms are not flopping around like Gumby arms. You know that green creature? Gumby legs, Gumby arms. Control it. Squeeze it. Getting there. Ah. Your body, your body's doing all these crazy contractions. But does anybody ever talks about your face? Your face is doing so much work. You're doing all these crazy faces. And I hope none of you don't do like. <laughs> anyway, we gotta go. Jumping and switching. Are we ready? Go. Count. both sides of the row with bend but that's not what I want 
I want right here. So we're gonna go alternating high plank row. When I place that dumbbell, it's with control, okay? With control. Not like this. Squeeze it and slowly lower it down. Yes, so now your quads, everything has to work here. Back is straight. your legs felt that's fine but it's always good to try both sides train both ways both sides okay don't favorite only one over the other try to be as even as possible Time. Step back. Shake it. We're going into jump lunges right now. Jump lunge. Ready? Let's do this. Three, two, one. We're going for it. We're jumping and switching in the air. Lower you go, harder it is. Higher you go, harder it is. Remember what I told you, skipping, it's not jumping. Ah, both legs have to hit the ground at the same time. Because with skips, I can do a hundred. And then somebody says, oh, I can do this forever. No, you can't if you're gonna go in 20% instead of 100. You should be out of breath right now. All right, bend, high plank, row. Now we're gonna switch the arms. Let's do this. One, two, three, go. Switch quickly, other arm. Go, roll it. Abs 
glutes tight, knees bent, full overhead extension. Remember which one you're going, so the next time around you're going different one. I'm choosing left. See how my hips are remained. This is in line. My leg is not here in line with this one. It's like if I would do a leg shoulder width and this leg goes back. Again, leg shoulder width, the leg goes back. Then the second point is 90, 90, 90 shoulders. Hips are square right here in line, straight. Don't show, don't go forward, and then you're jumping. That's it. Look. Nice work. Ah. Burning, yes, get those dumbbells for your bicep curls. Let's do it, boys and girls, girls and boys. Shoulders back, just as I'm, my heart is up. Look, I gotta breathe in and out, control it. Squeeze it. Two more. Again. You realize I told you jump, not waiting for the bench. Yes, because time is running out. Gotta go. Bend. We switch the order quickly. Let's go. Overhead. From overhead, we're gonna go right into the bicep curl. Three, two, one, go. 90. A little different, right? Don't bring them close. Not from here, out here. Knees bent, shoulders back and down. Ha! Can you imagine? We've been here almost an hour. Time, switch into your bicep curl right here. Make the ears, make the loops, and go. Squeeze it. Knees bent, knees bent. Shoulders back, chest out.
you are done. This what? No. We're gonna switch the order now, probably. But we're doing it. So, final sip. Final sip. Press. Let's go. Flat press. Come on, bench. Get your dumbbells. Get your dumbbells. Let's go. Go, go, go. Press it. So we're going to pop those dumbbells only right now. Straight through. Okay. Dumbbells now, bend over. Go, three, two, one, we gotta go. Get ready for the incline. switching the order. Stay with me. Stay with me. So you know what to do. Because then the bands will go together. Let's go. Incline. Now we're going into into your jumps, into your jumps. So let's do this. Jump lunges, just quick. Go, jump, jump and switch, jump and switch. into overhead press overhead press ready drop those dumbbells three two one go 
knees bent. Now you know it. forward. Set yours. Maybe same. Maybe a different one. Go. Time. Go. Dumbbells, dumbbells. This is just to see. Keep that heart rate. Right? Yeah. Go, go, go. Come on. Let's get those bends. Final chest, chest press, rows. There is no jumps right now. Go, 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 go. Finish off. Finish off with bicep curl, make the loops, make the ears. Let's do this. Three to one, shoulders back, chest out.
I can check what I cannot check what you're doing right now here, but I know that you're true to yourself and you either would say yes I did it or I just watched it. Drink your water as we're gonna discuss a few things. Guys, there's so much in in fitness in general, fitness, staying healthy, being healthy, feeling good, having great energy, right? Being able to play with your kids, being able to build that empire that you want to, right? And succeed. Foundation is health. You can't go on and put everything else in front of you when your health is not in check. You're gonna invest in your new house, new clothes, uh, other ideas that you have, but you're gonna forget about the foundation and your one life that you have. Because that's what, what we know what's now. This right now moment, it's my life. I can't risk it. I can't, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, play, play with my life. This is your foundation. So if you know that you need to lose weight and get your shit together, you should. And you don't know how to do it, then get a coach. Don't rely on yourself because obviously you did it and it didn't work. So you need a guidance, guidance. Somebody that's done it or been doing it or been coaching, you need someone that will check with you. You know, what surprised me all the time when is when people say, I, I will, I will just, I have my other things or uh, my other priorities and, and, and they will go on and do the other things in the meantime, they, they overweight and their heart is at risk. So how can you even make that decision in the first place? How can you make this decision? It's just ask backwards. You, I'm sorry, but that's how it, you have to think like this, guys. Uh, you, you know, if nobody never told you this, maybe you never had somebody straightforward with you like this or you, somebody was avoiding because people will avoid hard subjects and hard, hard topics and people will not tell you straightforward how it is. Your family might know that it's not right, it's wrong, but they're not going to tell you because they, maybe they're afraid to start the conversation. So <laughs> let's do a self-checklist today and let's see okay what is my priority if I need to lose weight what is the step that I need to take instead of wasting your time trying to search on YouTube and trying to because that's what you will do you'll go from one coach to the next you're gonna start searching and get confused with the overwhelming information that it's out there look it's in every industry like this it's overwhelming and you ended up not doing anything because the amount of info that you just took it in, it's gonna overwhelm you and you're gonna stop and that's what happens. It's too much data, too much, and instead of moving forward, you're gonna be like, wait a second, what I need to do? Stick to one, do it right, follow the right lead, follow the right coach, follow us. Because we've been in this industry for over 20 years with successful transformation of so many people in mindset and in workouts. We did this today. Look how fast, how awesome workout went. But this is just one hour of your day, one hour. What happens in the 23 hours that you do? You know, what other things that are being in disturbance? Like, ooh, is that a word? What are other things that are not checked or you missed on? <clears throat> Follow the experts in the field. That's what we've been doing. So get a coach, send us a message today. Don't postpone it. And let's get this straight. Let's get this right. We have all different ways of coaching. We have mind, body, and business. The OTD, OTD operate to dominate. One-on-one coaching that it's super, super awesome because you get a weekly call with a coach. You have daily messages. You have nonstop interaction. You learn so much. You have also one call, one call a month. Or you have a platform when workouts are made for you or specifically made for you that you can do that coaching one-on-one but not live. But they are made for you. And the nutrition, the videos, all the information that are 
on that platform right there in your inbox daily you just need to click and open and follow look how easy it is it's very easy but you know what it takes to do this it's just willingness you just need to have that will and say you know what i will do that i will do that today i will make the necessary changes that will bring a different outcome in just few weeks some of you few months a different person different stage different situation <clears throat> but guys most of us needs to change most of us needs to change in our health wellness fitness there's so much to learn obviously so much to learn but with the right hand with the right tools with the right guidance so let's do this together guys thank you so much for joining me that's just watching joining me today i see a bunch of you here today nice work i hope that you guys stayed on and again send us a message don't just uh, come on and see it watch it and leave i see uh, so many well-known names and i would like to hear from you all right guys talk to you soon we're gonna show up soon here what's tomorrow tomorrow is a free boxing so again join all these different platforms facebook eva that Ecker one on instagram steve that Ecker one on instagram peak physique and why on instagram because you never know when we're gonna be you never know you never know what you might find on these awesome platforms okay so join us and i will talk to you later guys no excuses